everyone good? Good morning. I'm Technician Jake Casillas with the Media Relations Unit, um, and I'm here to uh, introduce Mike Mills, uh, which is a he's the president for the Denver Metro Crime Stoppers, and Detective Brian Lang, who will be speaking with you guys as well. Good morning, and welcome to all of you. Metro Denver Crime Stoppers, along with an anonymous donor, has increased the award in the search for the information leading to the whereabouts of Jerome LeKendrick Lucas in the, uh, in the amount up to $5,000 that leads to his arrest. You can anonymously call crime, Metro Denver Crime Stoppers at 720-913-7867 or visit us on our website at www metrodenvercrimestoppers.com. We are requesting the public's assistance in locating this suspect. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Detective Lang with the Denver Police uh, Department Sex Crimes Unit. I was assigned uh, the investigation involving um, this wanted party, Jerome Lucas. Um, this incident occurred on March 24th of 2019, and it was a broad daylight crime. That's why this is uh, very different from most crimes that we have in our unit. Um, broad daylight, uh, the victim was attacked in her home, um, sexually assaulted, items were stolen, along with her vehicle, which we have recovered. Um, we've exhausted a lot of efforts in trying to apprehend this dangerous individual with a lengthy criminal history for um, numerous crimes. And with that, we are now asking the public's assistance with the, the raised um, reward amount with Crime Stoppers um, to get him off of the streets. Um, he's a danger to the public, and we really need assistance in apprehending him and bringing him uh, in, in for justice. His, yes. His criminal history, um, he does have burglary offenses in his criminal history, robbery, weapons offenses, drug offenses, um, theft offenses, um, and auto theft. I don't know if I said that or not, but he does have that. Um, we've blown up some pictures here of Mr. Lucas because he has some very distinctive tattoos. He also, as you can tell, is able to change how he looks frequently and often, whether it's hairstyle, um, clothing, facial hair, um, anything like that. The one thing that will not be easily changed are these tattoos, especially the ones that he has on his face, as you can see here in this blown up picture. Um, it's hard for me to decipher what those tattoos exactly are, but they are prevalent and, and easily identifiable. Any tips, any sightings so far? We have had um, several tips come in. Nothing has led us to his arrest at this time, so we're still exhausting all leads. We've um, reached out to neighboring jurisdictions um, to assist in, in apprehending him. Um, just because this crime happened in Denver doesn't necessarily mean that he stayed in Denver. Um, so we're exhausting everything we can with every lead that comes in. The, the more, the better. Did you see any of the details of the investigation or what happened? Um, at, at this time, we're, I'd like to keep the details of the investigation kind of kind of closed. Um, for the, for the victim's privacy as well. And just know that the nature of this crime, um, a burglary, a sexual assault, an attack in your own home on a Sunday afternoon in broad daylight um, is not anything I have ever been a part of in my 16 year career. Um, with those factors, um, he is a danger to the public and we need to get him off the streets and that's what we need your help to do. Yes, he has. Um, for a laundry list of those are items I just talked about, auto theft, um, the burglaries. He also, along with this case, has an active warrant out for his arrest for an auto theft case as well um, out of Colorado. Um, so he, he does have that warrant as well. I don't know the length of any jail sentences, but I do know he's been arrested and has... has um, been apprehended in Colorado. With that being said, he does have ties out of state. Um, he has ties to Texas, um, where it's listed that he was born. 
Um, he has a previous arrest history in South Dakota, so there's ties there, um, ties to California and Missouri. So we'd like to reach out to those, those areas as well um, in case he decides to go that direction. We will be sending out this crime alert um, to everyone as, uh, as well as the uh, other pictures so you guys can have them. Um, thank you for your time.